When we think of life, we often picture humans, plants, animals, and even microorganisms. But what makes us and these organisms alive? The answer lies in the chemistry of life, specifically in the unique properties of carbon. From the simplest single-celled organisms to complex multicellular beings, the carbon atom is at the heart of biological processes. Carbon can form long chains, branched structures, and even rings, creating an astonishing diversity of organic compounds. These compounds serve as the building blocks of life. The ability of carbon to form stable and diverse bonds allows for the immense variety of molecules that make life possible. Carbon-based compounds such as proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids play vital roles in everything from the structure of our cells to the genetic information encoded in our DNA. Carbon element is so important and versatile that it has its own branch of chemistry known as organic chemistry. All the things that we see around us are made up of atoms. The atoms combine with other atoms by forming bonds between them. Hence, formation of interatomic bonds is responsible for the creation of innumerable things that we see in the universe. Out of the atoms of different elements, the atoms of carbon possess specific properties that make it most suitable to create life on Earth. Before going deep into why nature has chosen carbon instead of other elements to create all life forms on Earth, first we need to understand how bonds are formed at the atomic level. I will also discuss, after all, why atoms need to form bonds. Why don't they stay alone? Actually, everything in the universe tends to acquire more stable state. Therefore, atoms too try to become more stable by sharing, gaining, or losing electrons to other atoms. As we know, electrons revolve around the nucleus of the atom in different energy states or shells. The maximum number of electrons that an orbit or shell of an atom can have can be calculated by the formula 2n square. Here, n is the energy level. So, as per this formula, the innermost shell of the atom, which is the first shell, can accommodate maximum of 2 into 1 squared, that is, 2 electrons. In the same way, the second shell of the atom can allow maximum of 2 multiplied by 2 squared, that is, 8 electrons, and so on. It has been found that to become stable, all the atoms try to get 8 electrons in the outermost shell. The outermost shell is also known as the valence shell. Please note that the electrons present in the valence shell take part in all the chemical reactions. But why only the valence shell electrons? Actually, these are the electrons that are more easily available for interaction with other atoms as they are present in the outermost orbit and also most loosely bound to the positively charged nucleus of the atom. The atom tries to get 8 electrons in the valence shell to become more stable by either sharing electrons with other needy atoms or by gaining or losing electrons to other atoms. Now let's look at the periodic table. Do you know that in the periodic table, elements present in a particular column have almost similar properties? Actually, they have same number of valence electrons, that is, the same number of electrons in the outermost shell of the atom. If you look at the rightmost column of the periodic table, you will find the elements that do not react with others, therefore they are chemically inert. These are the noble gases. They are chemically inactive because their outermost shell already has 8 electrons. So, they don't need to make bonds with other atoms to become stable. For example, neon has atomic number 
10 as it has 10 electrons. Let's find the number of electrons in each shell of neon according to the previously mentioned formula 2n square. Putting different values of n like 1, 2 and 3 in the formula, we can find the first shell has 2 electrons and the second shell has 8 electrons. This is the electronic configuration of total 10 electrons that the gas neon has. As the outermost shell of the neon has 8 electrons already, there is no need of forming bond with other atoms to complete octate to become more stable. Now again look at the periodic table and see the elements present in the column in which the carbon is present. All the elements of this column have 4 electrons in the valence shell. Hence, they try to acquire 4 more electrons to become stable to get total of 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Let's talk about carbon atom. Atomic number of carbon is 6 as it has 6 number of electrons. Out of these 6 electrons, 2 electrons are present in the first shell and the remaining 4 are present in the second shell of the carbon atom. Therefore, it needs 4 more electrons to fill its outermost shell completely to make it to 8 electrons in the valence shell for more stability. So, to do this, it can share 4 electrons with other atoms of carbon or other elements like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. Hence, this property of carbon allows it to make up to 4 bonds which can give rise to complex molecular structures. To get 4 extra electrons, it can either form 4 single bonds, 2 double bonds or 1 triple bond plus a single bond. Therefore, carbon can form a wide variety of bonds which further adds to its versatility. Now, we will discuss reasons why nature chose carbon as the foundation of life on earth. Number 1. Abundance Carbon is the fourth most abundant element in the universe and the second most abundant element in the human body after oxygen. It is readily available in the earth's crust, atmosphere, oceans and living organisms. Number 2. Versatility Carbon can form stable bonds with a wide variety of other elements including hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and many others. Using carbon atoms, it is possible to form long non-repetitive chains of polymers and also the closed rings like benzene. This versatility allows carbon to form the complex molecular structures necessary for life such as proteins nucleic acids like DNA and RNA, carbohydrates and lipids. Number 3. Stability Carbon-carbon bonds are strong and stable, which is crucial for building complex molecular structures. These bonds can withstand the chemical reactions and environmental conditions necessary for life to exist. Number 4. Energy Storage Carbon-based molecules such as glucose serve as a primary source of energy for living organisms. The ability of carbon to store and release energy through chemical reactions is essential for sustaining life processes. The element whose properties closely resemble to carbon is the silicon, but is still, nature didn't select it to create life on Earth. But why? Here is the answer. Silicon is in the same column as carbon in the periodic table, which means it also has 4 valence electrons. However, silicon's large atomic size and higher electronegativity makes it less versatile when it comes to forming bonds. Silicon does have the ability to form some complex molecules, but it cannot match the diversity and stability of carbon compounds. Silicon-based compounds are generally less reactive and less able to form the intricate molecular structures necessary for life. It is important to note that while humans are carbon-based life forms, 
Other elements also play vital roles in our bodies. Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and other elements are necessary for the functioning of biological systems. But carbon's unique properties make it the fundamental building block of life as we know it.